Welcome to the Shiftcare Learning Center. In today's session, we'll be taking a look at managing staff documents. We'll start off by customizing document categories. We'll upload staff documents into Shiftcare. We'll then set up staff reminders for expired documents and review some of the reporting functions you can have within Shiftcare for those staff documents. Before we begin, I just wanted to cover off the different types of categories that we have for staff documents within Shiftcare. You can upload compliance documents, including first aid certificates and police checks, competency documents uh, for things like medication handling and aged care assessment, and qualification documents if your staff are registered nurses or they have certificates in uh, disability work, for example. Let's get started by taking a look at customising our document categories within Shiftcare. If we go over to account on the left hand side menu and into settings, on the right hand side if you scroll down you'll see the care competency and qualification categories just here. If you click on edit you'll be able to edit the competencies and qualifications headings within Shift Care. So just uh, customise these the way you see fit for your business. You can delete uh, any of these that you like. You can also add uh, additional qualifications if you like. So in this instance we'll put in uh, registered nurse and we'll add that into the list of qualifications. Once you've done that just press save and that will save the qualifications uh, into Shift Care. We can then scroll up to our staff members up the top here and click on list and select the staff member that you'd like to upload documents for. So we're going to choose Josephina here and once we've gone into Josephina's profile, you can scroll down to the document list here where it says Compliance and click on Manage All. There's a couple of ways to upload documents into Shiftcare. Uh, you can either add a document and select the category of the document. So all of these categories are what we showed you before in the settings area, uh, the ones that we, that we customized. Uh, this can be a little bit time consuming because you might have multiple documents for your staff and you'd have to add uh, one at a time. But if you do have uh, multiple documents for your staff, uh, here I've got uh, all of the documents for our staff member Josephina, we can simply select the documents that we want to upload and drag and drop them into Shift Care. And that will create the list for us here and those documents have been uploaded. From here it's just a, a simple matter of going through and categorizing each of these documents. So here we've got first aid certificate. If I just start typing uh, first aid it will come up with the correct category and this might be for company policy so I'm going to put this under HR reports. Uh, working with children, uh, this might be for registered nursing, so that's the one we added earlier. This is for a visa approval, so visa status and we've got a police check as well. We can also set expiries on these documents as well. So first aid certificate, uh, that might expire at the end of the year. So we can set an expiration on these documents as well. Uh, the working with children might also expire, say in November. Um, the visa approval will be okay. The police check might expire at the end of November. There might be documents that also don't expire. So company policies, um, first aid certificates, um, sorry, visa application approvals, uh, registered nursing certificates, uh, these might not expire. So you can set no expirations on these documents as well. You can also set whether or not these documents are available to your staff. So when your staff log into Shift Care using the mobile app, they can also access their documents um, directly from the app. So to allow visibility to these documents, you can uh, apply the visibility uh, option here. So you might want them to be able to uh, see their uh, registered nurse certificate. So in this case, you can click on visible and click the tick button. Uh, company policies, you would want them to see that. Uh, the police check, you'd want them to see that. Uh, working with children is visible and their first aid is visible. Okay, so you might not want them to see a visa approval and you might have other documents in here like there might be an HR incident um, that occurred and you might not want that to be visible to your staff. So you have the option of choosing uh, what documents your staff have visibility to when they're using the mobile app. Once you're done with uploading the documents, I'm just going to go back over into Josephina's profile and you'll be able to see those documents have loaded into the compliance section. 
The competency and qualifications documents, we don't display those on the staff member's profile page, but you can always see uh, what's available by, available by clicking Manage All and you'll see the documents are listed there. They are available in the reports, which I'll show you how to access uh, in the next few steps. Now, these documents expire on a certain date, so you might want to set up reminders for your staff members uh, to supply documents when they come up for expiry. And to do that, if we go down to uh, Account and click on Reminders, this is an area where we can set up uh, reminders for staff members and clients as well uh, around their document reminders. So if we add a new reminder in here, we can choose who the target's for. So in this particular instance, uh, this is for the staff member. So this is the staff reminder. And we might want to remind the staff 30 days before, for example, their first aid certificate expires or any document expires for that matter. I've just made up some examples here. You can see if you hover over content, um, we've got a list of, of wordings that you can use when you're creating the message for your staff. So they can uh, contain any of those different uh, categories within the template. So for example, I've uh, just created one here which I'll, I'll paste in just to make it a bit quicker. So here I've got uh, high name, so that's high uh, name of your staff member. Our records indicate that your category meaning first aid certificate, for example, expires in uh, days, which would be 30 days. Uh, please provide an updated version to our admin team. So that's the format of the message that would go out to your staff members 30 days before um, their first aid certificate or, or any document expires. So you only need to set this up uh, for, for the 30 days. If you wanted to, you could uh, continue sending uh, different reminders for a certain day. So you could uh, save that and you could then create a new reminder uh, for seven days, same content. Make sure that's set to staff. So you could set up different reminders for different periods of time. So I uh, would say this indicates that your uh, first day certificate expires in 30 days uh, and then they get a reminder in seven days as well. Now, if the staff member hasn't uh, provided their first aid certificate, for example, within the specified time and that document expires, we can also set up a reminder to tell them that it, it has expired and uh, we need it urgently. So in this instance, what we can do is we can create a, a different mail template and we can say our records indicate that your first aid certificate expired and here we can set uh, the days up. So we can set up a minus seven and that would mean that the record, records indicate that the document expired seven days ago. So we're gonna change the wording here to say, please urgently provide an updated version to our admin team. Um, so we can avoid compliance issues. So setting it to minus basically means that once the document's expired, we count seven days after the expiry and the reminder is sent at that seven day period. So until you update that document within Shift Care, uh, this reminder will be sent out to your staff uh, seven days after the document expires. So it's really easy to set up reminders before and after document expiry just by changing the wording and by changing the days to either positive or negative depending on whether it's um, before or after the document's expired. Once you've done that, click on save and you can start to see that you're, you're building up a list of reminder records here for your staff members, um, which will automatically send them notifications to their mobile phone to alert them when their documents have expired or are expiring. Let's take a look at reviewing our document reports now for our staff. If we go to the left menu and click on reports and we'll go down to compliance report to start off with. So here you can instantly see all of the different reports uh, that we've got available for compliance for first aid, police check, working with children and visa status. So we've got a really good snapshot of all the documents that we've got uploaded into Shift Care, uh, the dates that they expire and those that are about to expire highlighted in orange and the ones that have expired already uh, highlighted in red. Um, for auditing purposes, you can download these as a CSV file as well. So just click on the cloud button on the right, uh, click on CSV and that will generate a uh, file for you. So you can send that to an auditor, for example. And uh, these will give you a, a really good snapshot of exactly what's happening uh, with your staff compliance. 
If you click on any one of these staff members here, it'll take you directly to their staff profile as well, uh, so you can update and manage their documents within Shiftcare. Briefly go into the other reports that are available for your staff. There's uh, a competency report. We didn't upload that many uh, competency documents into Shiftcare, but uh, as I mentioned before, these headings are completely customizable in the settings, so you can add and remove as many as, of these headings as you like. And uh, again, it will display in a similar way to the compliance report around whether or not these documents have expired. And we've got the qualification report on the left-hand side here as well. And in a similar display, you can uh, completely customize these headings as well. And the document expiration dates will also appear in here. You can also download these for auditing purposes as well uh, by clicking the cloud button and downloading those as a CSV file. I hope you enjoyed this session on managing staff documents. For further information or assistance, you can email us at support at shiftcare.com. We've got really great online chat when you log into Shiftcare, and we've got a comprehensive list of articles at help.shiftcare.com.